you're watching PC Repair Guru channel. Today, we're going to show you guys how to remove malware, virus, and spyware. Yep, those three nasty buggers. And I already have a folder where I have named it cleaner. And basically, what programs you want to require, the free programs, it's uh, malware bit, anti-malware, and spybot. These are the two programs and your soft your firewall your personal firewall depending on which one you have so keep that in mind so we're gonna start off with malware and I'm gonna show you guys the process you need to take to actually remove all viruses bioware and malware okay so these are the steps you're taking basic steps okay so as you can see here first thing you wanna do is update your virus database, your malware database, which once it's updated, okay, once that is updated, you go on scan, you click on scan, custom, you don't want to stick with this one, you want to go with this one, do a custom and do a full scan and scan for root kits as well. So as you can see here, it tells you to take the treater detection as malware and you can just click on that, same with that one okay and depending on which other drives you want to scan it's all up to you and you can scan the whole drive if that's if you have the virus and you think uh, there's a virus and it's slowing your PC down so it's a good way to do it okay and that's one of them and spybot so I'm gonna show you guys I'll run spybot for you guys and you can check the process I'm taking to actually remove malware spyware and viruses so um, again, you're going to be doing the same thing, update, you click on update. Keep in mind, depending on if you have disabled your service at the background, you might want to enable it again. So you just say yes. And that's done. So you just click on update. And it's gonna check some check for updates and it's gonna download the updates. Okay. Back to square one. So Okay, once that is done. All you want to do is click on this icon that will prevent certain malware from accessing your computer. It's like a block uh, block firewall where it actually prevents that. So it removes all the trojans, all the anti-ware, anti-spyware. So it's good to have. So you click on that and you check your system. Keep in mind since I have my Firefox open, you might want to consider closing it. So you just apply and and that's about it. And before you do that, and you're going to do a system scan as well. I forgot to mention that. The important part. So basically, you just all you do is scan. Since uh, I've uh, installed Windows 10 just recently, so I'm not going to bother scanning. So I would recommend scanning every month, which uh, will be free from viruses, spyware, and malware. And those two programs. I then now I'm gonna tell you guys the firewall depending on what firewall you got I have a smart securities which I kind of personally prefer so as you can see here all you need to do, do with this one you go computer scan and you go custom scan and you just click on uh, the one that you want and just scan administrator 
Keep in mind, you don't need to scan as administrator, but uh, you know we don't need to scan as administrator. But if they want, if uh, if I'm trying to remove viruses, you might want to consider you know clicking on the, this one. Okay, and there you have it. Again, same with ESA, you might want to consider updating updating the virus database before you scan. And there you have it. This will eventually protect your system from spyware malware and viruses comment below thank you for watching and let us know how it goes and if you have any problems with windows 10 if you're trying to get right get rid of viruses or spyware or malware do leave a comment below with all, all the operating system there are like windows 7 windows 8 8.1 and so on and so forth